Surya Namaskara is a popular practice and very few yoga sessions begin without Surya Namaskara these days. Loved by yoga teachers and millions of yoga practitioners, this practice has become a staple fitness routine. Be it in the yoga studios, health clubs, beaches, parks, lawns or any yoga event. Though not part of traditional yoga practice, Surya Namaskara is widely accepted in modern day yoga classes. We do not find any mention of Surya Namaskara in the classical Yoga Sutra nor in the medieval Hatha texts. The probable origins of this practice can be traced to Vedic Shastanga Namaskara. The Puranic texts, especially Malla Purana, a text on traditional Indian wrestling, points towards Lord Hanuman and his strength training routine called Dandas. Various forms of Dandas are still being followed by the Indian wrestlers. These dandas are another possible source of origin of Surya Namaskara. The version widely used today may have been designed by Sri Samarth Ramdas Ji and later modified by Sri Bhagavan Rao Pant Pratinidhi, the Raja of Aund, in the early part of the 20th century. Surya Namaskara, as is practiced today, is a set of asanas done with breath coordination. The sequence involves forward and back bends of the spine and engages the upper, lower and more importantly, the core of the body. Some schools also practice Surya Namaskara with mantras. Various yoga schools differ slightly in the asana and breath coordination in Surya Namaskara. We will go through the most popular version in this video. This is often referred to as the classical Surya Namaskara. 12 counts are practiced on the right first, followed by 12 counts on the left. Right side simply means that the lunges are initiated by moving the right leg. Let's begin. In the first round, we will be getting to know the names and some key alignments of the practices. Samasthiti. The feet uh, comfortable distance apart, hands by the sides. Namaskara Mudra. Palms to the heart center. Uttana Hasta, arms extend upwards and then back. Pada Hasta, folding forward from the hip, hands down to the feet. From here, Ashwa Sanchalana, right leg goes back and head lifted up. Dandasana. The other leg goes back. Astanga Namaskara. Knees, chest and chin on the floor. Pujangasana. Move forward and upwards. And toes tucked in for Parvatasana. Lifting the hips up. Right foot to the front. Ashwa Sanchalana. And looking down, left foot to the front, Pada Hasta. Uttana Hasta. Reach out, up, and back. Ending the first half with Namaskara Mudra. We'll watch all those uh, names and the movements one more time. The second half. Uttana Hasta, reach up and back. Pada Hasta, folding forward. Left leg back, Ashwa Sanchalana. Right leg back, Dandasana. Astanga, eight parts on the floor. From here, Bujanga, move forward and upwards into the back bend. Toes tucked in, lifting the hips up into Parvata. Left foot to the front, Ashwa Sanchalana. Right foot to the front, Pada Hasta. From here, reaching out with the arms. Up and back, Uttana Hasta. Ending the round with Namaskara Mudra and Samasthitihi. In the second round, let's introduce breath to coordinate with the body movements. Samasthitihi, from here, Namaskara Mudra, get the palms at the heart center and even off your breath by inhaling and exhaling, preparing for the practice. Inhale, Uttana Hasta. Exhale, Pada Hasta. 
Right leg goes back. Inhale, Ashwa Sanchalana. Left leg back. Hold breath, Dandasana. From here, exhale, Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale into Parvatasana. Right foot to the front. Inhale, Ashwa Sanchalana. Exhale, Padahasta. Inhale, Uttana Hasta. Exhale, Namaskara Mudra. Second half. Inhale, Uttana Hasta. Exhale, Pada Hasta. Left leg goes back this time. Inhale, Ashwa. Right leg back. Danda, holding the breath. From here, exhale out into Astanga Namaskara. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale into Parvata. Left foot to the front. Inhale, Ashwa. Exhale, Padahasta. Inhale, Uttanahasta. Exhale, Namaskara Mudra. Samastitihi. We end uh, the second round coordinated with the breath. In the third and last round, let's watch some modification that can ensure safety in the practice. Samastitihi. Namaskara Mudra, heart center. From here, for Uttana Hasta, hands on the hips and bend back, lifting the chest up. Continue to look forward. Hips to the front. Padahasta, fold forward from the hip, knees can bend, hands by the sides and on the floor, head down. Right leg back, Ashwa Sanchalana. Left leg back, Danda, modified Danda, knees on floor. From here, exhale, Astanga Namaskara, chest and chin on floor. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Parvata with the knees softly bent. Right foot to the front, Ashwa Sanchalana. Left foot to the front, Padahasta, knees softly bent, head down, hands on the hips. Uttanahasta, come up to get your hips out to the front, chest up, bend back, elbows behind. Namaskara Mudra, ending the first half of the round. For the second half, hands on the hips, bend back, open up chest, look straight forward. Fold forward, hands by the sides, knees softly bent, head down. Left leg back this time, Ashwa Sanchalana. Dandasana, get the knees on floor, prepare, hold for a moment, and then exhale, Lastanga Namaskara. Inhale, Bhujanga. Exhale, Parvata. Knee softly bent. Left foot to the front this time. Ashwa Sanchalana. Right foot, Padahasta. Knee softly bent. Hands on hips. Head comes up first. Chest up, bend back, open up chest, hips to the front. Namaskara Mudra. Samasthitihi. Practice of Surya Namaskara has to begin slow to help master the movements first. Once this is fairly in place, the breath coordination is to be practiced. The choice of number of rounds should reflect one's current endurance and strength. Let's accept, in spite of its non-yoga origins, Surya Namaskara is here to stay and is part of most present day yoga classes. And why not? When practiced judiciously and with breath coordination, Surya Namaskara can be a fantastic physical, physiological and mind practice. For regular online live yoga practices, do visit shwasa.com. Namaste.